Hello guys, in this video I'd like to explain the use of the transient annotation in Java application development with the Hibernate Framework and Java Persistence API or JPI. I am Nam Haming at CodeJava.net. So what is the use of the transient annotation in Hibernate JPI? Basically, we use the transient annotation in an unentity class for a few of properties that is not persistent. Because, you know, by default, Hibernate considers fields in an entity class are mapped to columns in the database table. And this annotation is used to annotate a few of properties in an entity class, mapped superclass or embeddable class. It can also be used to annotate getters. And use this annotation when you must add a few property or getter in an entity class, but it doesn't map to any column in the database. By changing, it means that the values of the fields of properties won't be persisted. And this annotation doesn't have any attributes. Let me show you a real world example of using the changing annotation. In a real world project, you see I have a Java Spring project that you uh, see uh, hybrid framework and uh, Java Persistent API or JPI. This is an entity class card item. You see the entity annotation and table annotation. And you can see uh, in this entity class, we have some fields. And you can see the first three fields are mapped to the corresponding columns in the corresponding table in the database, the card underscore items table. The first field customer, the second field product, and the third field quantity. All these three first fields are mapped to the corresponding columns in the database table. Column name is the field name. And you can see the last field shipping cost is marked with the transient annotation here you see and we also has a red and setter for the shipping cost view here you see that shipping cost is also marked with the transient annotation so this field stores a temporary value for a card item in a shopping cart okay and the value of shipping cost is set via the setter here let me show you uh, to uh, find the, a reference to uh, this setter method in this project you see it is invoked here item of type card item and set shipping cost here okay so you see um, how uh, this uh, the value of this field is uh, updated but it is marked as transient uh, it means that this uh, field doesn't map to any column in the database okay and then in the view layer uh, we have the code that you see that uh, refers to the shipping cost field in a card item object here you see shipping cost and let me start this application to show you the shopping cart of a customer okay and let me go to the home page and sign in login as the customer sorry Okay, I am in and click shopping cart and click checkout button and you can see shipping cost is displayed for the product here, ship uh, here. Okay, now what if I don't use the transient annotation in for this view? For example, I delete. Okay. Okay, and uh, test again. I need to log in again. Log in. Okay, click shopping cart and I got an error. And 
in the console view you can see the error is unknown column shipping cost in field list oh so that's why i must add the transient addition for this field like this so we don't get that error we won't get that error okay now let me test again login shopping cart check out okay it works uh, as before now it displays the shipping cost for the item in the shopping cart here so you uh, got the meaning and the purpose of using the transient annotation in java application development with the hybrid frameworks and java persistence api let me uh, show you uh, another example that in which the transient annotation is used to mark a red type method for example in this user entity class you see user entity class i use the transient annotation for two red the first one red photos image path the second one get full name and uh, because in the view in the view i use uh, the property name photos image path and full name in the view like this let me show you in the user html page you see uh, it refers to the property full name of a user object here it will call the greater red full name and because uh, we uh, don't map full name to any column in the database table so we need to use the transient annotation here and also you see where the photos image path is used is refer let me show you here if the dot photos image path it will uh, call the get a method get photos image path but it uh, this get returns a temporary value the value is not persistent in the database so that's why we need to use the uh, transient annotation here for the getter method make sense that's my explanation and code examples about the use of the transient annotation in java application development with the hybrid framework and java persistent api jpi i hope you found this uh, video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching